I have found connect tool almost in all the 3D applications. First select the ring of edges. You can find the connect button in the modifiers tag or in the graphite tools. When you will click on the connect tool, it will add a loop in the middle of the selection. But if you navigate the settings in a tiny box right next to it, you will be able to increase the number of loops. You can adjust the distance between them and also slide the loops in either direction. Swift loop is a quick way to add loops. It's only available in the graphite tools. Just position the cursor at your required spot and click to add the loop. I will be using swift loop in the modeling process quite frequently. Conventionally extrude is used to extrude the faces and may be the most commonly used tool for 3D modeling in any application. Extrude gives us massive control on the mesh especially when we combine with transform tools like position, rotation or scale. But we will rather use it in a different way. Mostly we will be extruding edges instead of faces. We will hold down the shift key and drag the edges in the direction we want to extrude. It will give us nice and clean extrusion, making new set of faces in that direction. If we hold down shift key and scale the selected edges, we will get the extrusion in the direction of scale, which is quite handy and makes the process quite faster. Bridge is a very self-descriptive tool. Select the edges and click on the bridge. It is available in the modifiers tag and in the graphite tools. If we click the box right next to it, we will get a bunch of settings, which are quite useful in many cases. If we activate the bridge tool without selecting any edges, we can use it consecutively across the edges we want to bridge. Likewise, if we have two borders selected, we can bridge them in the same way. If we want to merge the selected vertices, we use the collapse tool. Collapse weld all the vertices at an average position of the selection. After collapse, the selection turns into one single vertex.
target weld snaps the selected vertex and unify with the target vertex. You can observe that the extruded part of this cylinder have the hard edges. In the properties of edit poly, we have three different options to apply to our model. You can turn all the edges hard. It is perfect for the hard surface modeling. But for organic surface, we use to keep the entire model smooth. But the model with round surfaces and also the hard edges, we use the third option. It respects the 30 degree angle. Beyond it, it keeps the edges sharp. While character modeling, I turn the surface smooth on every single step. Setflow is one of my favorite tool in Edit Poly. It averages out the position of edge or loop, which is so useful and save massive amount of time. 